Hi all, welcome back to my channel PySpark Pulse. So in this video, I'll be discussing one of the question that is asked in one of the MNC. And the question goes like this. So you are working on a large data set that contains transaction record for a e-commerce e platform. Then the data set is stored in a distributed file system. Of course, if you're giving interview for as a big data engineer, then the file system will be of course distributed. Then you need to perform a series of transformation and aggregation to generate a summary report showing the 10 products by total sales. So I have created some uh, sample CSV files for scenarios that may not have uh, that is not having you know that much of records but yeah we'll be like trying to you know uh, mimic the same scenario. So first of all let us see the sample data that I've created. I will be attaching the CSV file with the description of this video so you can practice so let us visualize the data frames as well and let me in the same cell i will be loading that uh, products df also so what we need to do let us first understand the question we need to know perform some aggregation and transformation first let, we will see the data then also we need to like this is our thing we need to generate a report that will be showing the top 10 products by their total sales revenue for each category so something we are getting the idea like we need to do group by or partition by on the basis of the category right so let us first visualize the data first let us see the transaction data frame so transaction data frame consists of this column transaction id product id category id amount and timestamp okay timestamp and all this will not matter much for us in this question then the product data frame contains of product id and the product name so we also want the product uh, id as well that's why we need to product id as well as the product name so we want to join the table right so first let us uh, uh, join the table so that we can we can get a one table in which we will be performing the our aggregation so we need to join join df join df is equal to transaction df dot join what is the other df name that is products df products df and how we would like to join uh, on product id You want an inner join, so yeah, this will work. You want a product ID and the fault is inner. So let us see. So let us visualize this TF as well. So you can see all the product IDs are there. One zero one zero three. So all the IDs are there up to ten, right? and product id is there then category id is there then amount is there timestamp and product name is there now what we'll do we need to you know uh, group by this data frame and calculate the uh, total sum uh, on the basis of the category id product id and uh, the product name product id and product name will not matter much but let's see okay so we we'll, what we'll do group to df I'm giving some random name you can give us any name like revenue TF or sales TF anything you can give them I'm giving this group TF so I mean join TF dot group by on the basis of category ID I will just copy the column name from here then it will be product ID the next thing product ID then product name product name sorry product name and let me take it to another line so that it will look better and what we need to do into the aggregation of sum of which column amount right so as it will not look good, it will come with this name. So we'll be aliasing it as well, right? We'll alias as total revenue. Total revenue, okay. 
it looks fine to me let us see if it throws any error let me trigger, let me run this cell okay it is perfectly fine let us visualize this tf as well so we can see uh, uh, our total revenue column has came perfectly like category id one all the can be category id we need we have got all the category id and which we are getting the top products like like not a top products just you know uh, the products or a total revenue we need to filter it out and order by it, you know get a top product. so most of the work is done here now we want to create a partition right on the category id so let me create a window specification so first of all let me import the windowing function then from window. import window okay i imported the function so let me use this now so we'll be using window dot partition by sorry partition by we'll partitioning by on the basis of the category id because this this is our main demand in the question as you can see in the question it is saying uh, top 10 products by total sales revenue for each category so as it's saying for each category we need to partition by on the basis of category id and uh, we need to order by on the basis of total sales Not order by total revenue not for total sales it is total revenue right and how will be ordering by this this should be uh, like not descending okay so let me uh, this should be actually inside so i will be using call function here from by spark dot sql dot function functions import star i will be using call here this is correct let me run this also to check if there is you know any syntax error or something no this is everything correct so let me name this data frame as uh, ranked df and we'll be ranking this this is our grouped df <laughs> dot with column we'll be giving this as like rank so we'll be using the rank function dot over window is back the window specification i think this is uh, this looks good to me let us run this and see if you are having any syntax or anything nothing it is very fine yeah so we'll just show this so as you can see this is coming correct right this is what we wanted but uh, since we are having a uh, less number of you know products here so we can't get up to 10 but the, according to the question what we want we need to filter out the records too so like top 10 products top 10 df if we keep this name so what we need to do we need to also uh, we'll just move this line we need to filter out uh, the you know rank rank column according to top 10 so we're using call rank which is greater than sorry less than equal to 10 right, so this should be our you know our final approach so top 10 df dot show so this is our uh, final output whatever want whatever columns we want right product id or like category id then we can drop the rank function as well so we can use the drop rank 
if you don't want this right so that all modification we can do according to our you know requirement now the important thing is here like one of the you know uh, question was there like what we can see what optimization we can do like what optimization we can do here so suppose we are having a large number of files so we can you know set the shuffle number of partition to like by default uh, if it is like you know we can uh, change the number of soul partition to 200 or like more than that right or less than that it is the default value then the other thing which i find in this question which is you know very important optimization which i feel which we can do that we should be broadcasting this uh, track df to the transaction df right while we join so we can use a broadcast join right here now this is the first optimization that we can perform then the second one is like change the number of shuffle partition change the number of shuffle partition Uh, also like we can uh, in increase the broadcast threshold the spelling mistake is there but yeah, I will not don't mind that increase the broadcast threshold right so this three optimization which I see that we can do here for this question like for example here it is in distributed system suppose if we are having file for around like uh, uh, one terabyte of data is there right so like this optimization you can do to make this problem simpler so that's all for this video do like share this video with your friends this will help them for their interviews and keep supporting thank you